guys, welcome your faces back to a brand new Bangalore video. I'm your host Maxman and today we're finally going to take a little peek at update 4.13 with a male, a male, a male, I'm not too sure how you say it, but he's a brand new Vainglory the, um, hero that's going to be coming out and uh, he's an absolute awesome good amount of fun to play and uh, I hope you guys will enjoy it and we'll jump straight into the gameplay of this new awesome Vainglory hero. So we're finally in game, now we'll be able to give a little quick taste of this hero. So I'm just going to buy myself a quick clockwork so I can spam the abilities, some boots, get to level 12, and there you have it. So Mel is made for Inglory, at least what it looks like in game, he's made as a laner, which I think is way better jungler than laner, so you'll see why. I'll try and explain his abilities real quick, so let me just max them out. Boom, 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 there you go. Okay, so I'm going to go through his abilities, read them out real quick. So here you go. So his passive his heroic perk is going to be pump it up. So whenever a male abilities hit an enemy hero twice, he gains bonus 30 weapon power boost and empowers his next ability to stun enemies. So of course, that does incentivize you to go some way down a weapon path, which I do understand. He can work out his weapon pretty good, even as a CP recommended path um, in the PVE, at least as of right now. So hit two abilities get more damage on weapon and also get yourself a nice buff cc when you use your next ability so you already have so much cc that if you do get that empowered state it's going to be insane win um in a solo lobby in a private lobby so of course we're not going to be able to showcase that but there you have it that is going to be his passive which is absolutely insane if you know how to use it properly it's going to be awesome you can stun to a duration of 1.5 seconds 1.5 every few every few seconds uh, which is absolutely insane so uh, there you go that is going to be his passive that I absolutely love now we're going to be checking out the abilities that I can in the showcase and that's going to be super punch so super punch just a showcase real quick I'm not even going to read the description because it doesn't make sense what you do is that once you click the ability you're going to be charging it up and once you charge up to a maximum state you can now dash into a specific direction and move everything away like you saw in that little intro you're going to move everything away it seems like a bowling park there you go gonna roll it up now if i hit the minion wave they all get pushed away this is great for engage for disengage for everything cc related when you need it it's a little bit like when you need tony with a bada boom but this one has like with double clockwork of course but this one has literally a six second delay six second someone sticking too much to your enemy to your ally carry just just yeet him out of there just freaking yeet him out of the surface of the earth so that ability is great after if you, you can use the ability when it's not even charged up it's going to be a shorter dash and you don't push as far so it will be a lot more useful for you to just you know straight up just get it to max you don't have to wait too long oh man the audio is actually really high let me fix that i did not think it would be that high my apologies there you go so that's his a ability you can just dash it doesn't do damage uh like when you go through heroes so there you go uh that's his a then you got his B ability, which is going to be Lawn Mower, which I, I love the ability name. Absolutely awesome. So what it does is that it's, it's a little bit similar to his A, but it doesn't do CC. What it does, it literally just allows you to... Basically, when you want to dash, you move backwards, then forward. So I'll show you. Here you go. Dash backwards, and he charges, and then he dashes forward. And everyone he passes through is going to do some damage. So it's really good if you want to just catch up and stick to a target if you play weapon. Or if you just want to know, you apply, you know, maybe apply Pulse Weave or just a Shiver Steel. So there you go. I'm going to show you the damage a little bit. Oh, wow. Well, I, I actually missed that. Okay, guys, this is NA PBE, so I'm going to be lagging a little bit. There you go. Right through the wave. It doesn't do any anything almost because I don't have any, like, damage in my items. But there you have it. So Also, just so you know, his A and his B can indeed go through walls. And uh, it's pretty easy. Like, I can even go... I don't, I don't think I can go through this wall. Yeah, you can't go through this wall, but you can go through this one. Oh, I didn't, because I didn't, I didn't charge it up. Okay, don't judge me, guys. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to charge it up. There you go. Boom, there you go. So you can turret dive pretty well because what you want to do is if someone is located exactly here, you can gank from here and push them backwards and back into your team. If you time it properly and aim properly, it has so much potential, it's insane. You can even just go like through bla uh, like Ghost in Black Law Pit. With both abilities though, that is. There you go. See, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to focus a little bit on his ultimate. Uh, his ultimate is really straightforward. I just want to, I want to use this again. Strike! <laughs> Ball pin number two. Um, so after that, his ultimate is very straightforward. Is an ability that actually does the only thing like this in the game. Unless maybe Ozo ultimate does it. I don't think it does. It actually puts an enemy hero in the air. So I'm going to show you. You can target even minions. There you go. It's as easy as that. Um, you just aim, a, uh, aim an enemy hero. And freaking yeet him in the air. 
Um, it does allow you to stick to target a little bit easier. So your main combo you want to try and use is like, use your B, get close to a hero you want to attack, and then just uppercut that guy, and you should be good. But there you go. That's that's really all his ability. I'm going to wait a little bit more just to be able to show you guys uh, his uh, ultimate one more time. I'm going to use it on uh, camp. I find it a little bit weird you can use on minions. I don't think you should be able to use it on minions, personally. Um, but there you go. So I'm going to show you the combo. You want to try and go dash in, boom, and yeet that guy up Whoop, in the air. Now he can't do crap. He can't move. You can still, like, reply and attack, but you can't move. Like, you're basically, like, rooted, in a sense, for, like, a few, like, for a few milliseconds, I guess, but... Eat him in the, the hell out of there. But there you go, guys. I'm going to show you real quick the recall animation if you guys want to see it. I don't know. We might want to see his taunt animation, actually. Here's the taunt animation, baby. There you go. Yeah, it's like, um, what is it called? WWE, like, reference. It's like, mm -mm, and he just shows his belt. There you go. I find him to be a pretty cool hero. I really like him, and I think his kit has a lot of potential. Uh, I can talk about builds real quick if you want. Also, let me show you the recommended builds, because... I did not show the recommended builds. Um, where is it? Shop. There you go. Recommended. These are two recommended builds they give you. I don't think CP is great in my personal attempts of playing CP. Uh, what I would say is just play weapon if you really want to play weapon in lane. Otherwise, just play utility jungle. Like, his kit is so good for utility jungle. Play it just like a Tony. Go for spell sword if you want because he still has some decent weapon ratio damage. And just go full tank. Just go full tank. Pulse Weave would be freaking awesome because you can go, uh, like, gap close so easily with every single ability almost. Um, there you go. That's where I would go. I would legit say just build Pulse Weave, Storm Crown, like, well, Storm Crown, Pulse Weave, uh, War Chairs or House and Chargers. Go for Spell Set if you really want to. Crucible, all that good stuff. And just protect your carry. This is a... Known that Hyper Carry is such a big thing, especially in NA. Just play this hero with your Hyper Carry. Just give him some room to breathe and allow him to dash out his damage with this hero. And you're set. You're set for life. This is a great hero to assist your hyper carry compositions, in my opinion. With that said, i got to say thanks so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me if you would be interested in me showing maybe new hero uh, new hero skins, all that kind of stuff. Right now, this is just focused on a new hero, which is Amal. And um, yeah, just tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Tell me what you would like to see in the future. Maybe you want me to try and do a, a bot gameplay. I'm not too sure, but I would be interested to have your opinion on it. With that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Any kind of comment, uh, well, say what you want in the comments. Go for it. Like the video, subscribe as always. I put, I at least try to put daily being glory gameplay videos. Thank you for watching. Stay awesome as always, and see you all next time on the rise. Bye bye.